books to hit up. Hello. And so this is going to be my 2018 reading goals. And last year I wanted to do, this is my bullet journal, which I'm still using, because uh, I didn't use it up entirely this year, 2017. I tried to do the read harder challenge, which I didn't do terribly about it, but I did maybe half of the thingies, which is better than I might have done. Um, this year I looked at Book Riot's website and looked at the suggested challenges. I was seeing if they had another Read Harder challenge, but they didn't at that time. I don't know if they do now. I took some of the things that they suggested and made a new page with these things. All of these are listed in the Literary Passport link below if you want to try these too. Uh, but first, rather than setting a number of books that I want to finish this year, I'm going instead to set a page number goal because I have noticed that I deliberately do not pick up big books because I want to get done with books faster so I can put them on my Goodreads challenge. And while I'll still be logging my reading on Goodreads because I like that log, uh, I I think I'll just set my uh, reading goal at like 50 books maybe or just maybe 20, I don't know. Um, but instead I want to read 25,000 pages. So reading big books is going to be a priority this year. <laughs> uh, so I've got like a little square for 5,000 words. Uh, make a list of identities I have and read books about them is my next challenge. So I've got four. Anxiety, feminist, writer, and biracial relationship. And if I come up with any more, I left some space so I can add some more. Uh, make a list of places I want to visit and read books that happen there. <laughs> um, my friend Cherish of The Motley News wrote a book during NaNoWriMo that takes place in Ireland, and Ireland is somewhere I really want to go, so hopefully she will let me read that soon. <laughs> uh, Kryn is a fictional place. Uh, the Dragonland series happens there, and I'm kind of in the mood for more also Middle Earth. Uh, and then Scotland, so I would likely be reading the next few books in the Outlander series this year. <clears throat> also, Cherish has started watching Outlander, so yay! <laughs> uh, pick the genres you like least and most and read a book in each. Uh, most is fantasy, so that will not be difficult. And then least is like Western. I don't think I've ever read a book that qualifies as Western, so we'll see. Uh, read a classic and a retelling of it. Um, the Infernal Devices series by Cassandra Clare is, I think, her best writing, and it's certainly my favorite of the Shadowhunters series. I've been wanting to reread it, and it is loosely based on A Tale of Two Cities, so I, and I owe my dad some Dickens, I think, you know, <laughs> I haven't read any since Great Expectations. Um, so I want to read A Tale of Two Cities and then a The Infernal Devices again. The last challenge at the bottom. Read a book from every decade in the 1900s, but don't read any book by a white man. Uh, <laughs> so that's gonna be fun. Um, and so those are the things I want to do next year. Um, let me know what your reading goals are. Oh, I also want to say specific books that I want to reread. Uh, I think I want to read Gone with the Wind, which we'll do for the 1930s, published in 1936. Uh, it'll do for that decade because it's written by a white woman, not a white man. Um, I'm gonna read more Octavia Butler, uh, particularly Wild Seed. I want to read uh, Our Dark Duet by Victoria Schwab. I want to reread the first book in the Darker Shade of Magic series. I want to read The Name of the Wind by Patrick Rothfuss. I want to read The Wake by Patrick Kingsford or something. I want to read Ike bought me Breakfast of Champions by Kurt Vonnegut that I really should read. Um, I want to read The Book of Dust, finish that by Philip Pullman. <laughs> I want to... I just read... I want to read a lot. I want to read all the books next year. So let me know what you want to read. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you again soon. Books do that.